Hello everyone, in the last video I was make WebSocket client for ESP32 that was communicate with eco server at some demo casing website. If you didn't watch that video, link is in the description so go and check it out. In this video I'm gonna to quickly write up my own eco WebSocket server by using Node.js and later I will connect the same WebSocket ESP32 client from the last video with this server that I will write now. Ok, first I will create project folder and with command cd navigate myself into it at the same time. Now when I'm in project folder I will open Visual Studio Code by typing command code dot. Open terminal in Visual Studio Code by click on terminal and then new terminal. Go and type command npm init hyphen y. This command will create package.json file with default settings. Create new source folder and inside of that folder create file server.js. This file will contain all code that is needed for creating WebSocket server. Packages that we will use for this case is express and express-vs. So go and install it with command npm space i space and then type the name of the package. Ok, when both packages are installed, we can now create instances of that packages in code. Now I'm gonna to create eco route and that will represent route of our WebSocket eco server. Inside of this route, when new client comes to the server, I will attach message call back to it and inside of it, on every received message from the client, I will send the same message back to it. At the end of the code, let's call listen method and provide the desired port of the WebSocket. In my case, I will set the port 1337 and for more user friendliness, let's show message when the server is started. Let's now open package.json file and create start script that will boot up the server. Ok, now type npm start and eco server is deployed. Like I already say at the beginning of this video, for the client I will use the same code for ESP32 from the last video, and just instead of using casing website, I will use the server that I just wrote. First, let's check what is the IP of PC on which server is deployed. Instead of WebSocket URL from last video, I will write IP address of my PC, and for the port I will write 1337. When I run this Lua code, we can see that messages is sent from ESP32 to our WebSocket server and server send the same message back to ESP. That's it, pretty cool, huh? If you want to support my work on this channel, please subscribe and feel free to write some comments down below. Till the next time, see ya!